Hey everyone, um, I am here to do a little experiment with an oximeter, which shows the oxygen saturation in your cells with a little infrared monitor. It's used commonly in medical offices and hospitals to check your oxygen level. And what we're going to do is we're going to first show the oxygen level without wearing a mask, just breathing normally in the air. Then we're going to show the oxygen level with the mask on. And then I'm also going to show you a very easy way to breathe to increase the oxygen level in your blood just by your breathing alone. Usually you can increase it one or two percent and it'll show you the power of breathing. So I have <clears throat> got my mom here as the test subject. She is a nurse practitioner, has a doctorate in nursing. Uh, Maggie Taylor is the test subject. Doctorate in nursing. So this is, we actually have a scientist right here. And let's read her oxygen level is currently at 98%, okay? And as you can see, she is not wearing a mask, right? No mask. Okay, mom, let's put a mask on, all right? And see if that affects. Again, the idea is, does the mask prevent oxygen from coming in into your bloodstream? Oxygen can make it through those fibers, just fine. So before we were at 98. So if it is preventing oxygen from reaching the lungs, blocking, we should see a drop in saturation, right? Just breathe normally. And are we going to see a significant drop? As you can see, she's wearing a mask. And mom, you're 70, how old? I just, in my 70s. She's in her 70s. So I thought I would do it with a member of the of a senior population. As you can see, she's still wearing the mask and what? You're breathing normally, right? Mm -hmm. 98 percent. 98 is what? Nurse practitioner says normal. Normal. It is normal, folks. Normal range. The range is state. Now I'm going to show you how to increase 98 to 90, 99. This is going to be an interesting experiment because it works for me, but um, you, know, you got to keep it on, mom, because I'm going to do it with you. With the mask on, we are going to increase it by 1 percent at least. Okay, um, can you sit down? And this is a breathing technique I learned from Tara Barak, which is you breathe in for a count and then you double it on the out, out. And it's a yogic breathing. So if we did four on the in, then you're gonna do eight on the out, but you wanna get a full breath and you wanna really start the breath from uh, your belly, chest, head. So, um, and so you're gonna count like this, one, two, three, more, and then eight on the out, one, and all through your nose, okay? So do that, this might take a little while. With it on, yeah, you're gonna see it's gonna increase. So make sure you get a full deep breath on the, on the nose, okay? And I don't know if it's gonna work on mom, it worked on me. And then, and then eight on the out. You can do it fairly quick, like one, do you like that quick. Deep, all the way in, and then out. Just like we do at Wim Hof, keep going. And also, this kind of breathing will calm you. As you notice, her heart rate went way down. So I think you're relaxing, right? Mm -hmm. Ah, it went to 99. Voila, folks. Mom, look at that. Just by doing the deep breathing. Wow. Okay. Wow. Uh -huh, see? Now, so this is a little bit of science, just like Dr. Uh, what's, what's the guy? science guy? Dr. Bill Nye, the science guy. We have an oximeter. Pulse oximeter. Pulse oximeter. We showed that by doing yogic breathing, we calmed down the nervous system. We increased the oxygen level. Even with the mask on, we went up from her base level of 98% to 99. Now, if she'd actually done some more deeper, quicker breaths, she could actually raise it to 100%. So, and, and I might be like, my question is, is there still people out there that believe the mask prevents oxygen coming in. And so I'd like to know the science behind that. I'm posing that question to those of you out there. I'm open. What am I missing? What am I not understanding? It appears that you can actually increase the oxygen level through the mask. So for those of you out there that are still saying that, I would like to know the science behind somebody who has COPD, why they are not getting the, the oxygen. Do you know why, why they would? Yeah, it has to do with the what and would the mask do? The, the alveoli. Well, uh -huh. it, it's not the mask. It's not the mask. Right. It's their basic, um, their mm -hmm. basic 
anatomy and physiology. So it's not the mask. It's the, it's happening on the inside of their body. That's where the it's That's not right. being absorbed. Alveolar level. Okay. Yeah. All right. Thanks, mom, <laughs> for our science. Will Taylor, the science guy, today. So pass this on for those of you that are uh, are on the fence about it. Science.